Hey guys, got both dogs here again, so I'm trying to keep them in the shots more often. Uh, okay, so this video is, I don't know, I, I don't like these kind of reviews, I don't like these kind of videos because it's not necessarily a positive review, and I, I apologize for that, but it just, it is what it is. Um, you know, I usually only like to discuss good things, but, uh, you know, these Bose 301 uh, speakers, these are actually my old speakers. Uh, these are now my mom's speakers, and she's had them for years now, uh, but, but they started in my house. I bought these, and I had them for a while, and then I moved on to uh, the Acoustamass setup with the little Jewel Cube speakers and the Acoustamass, and yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, I, I, I did my my other Bose video, why I moved on and all that. And I've had some people ask me about the Bose 301s. Are they good? Blah, blah, blah. So uh, I decided I would take a set of these uh, Prime Sats, these little speakers up here. Um, and I took those over to my mom's house and borrowed her 301s. So SVS uh, sent these out. And so <laughs> hopefully that's okay. Uh, she's got two of those over at her place right now. But uh, so I hooked those up over at her place and I'll give you her impressions here in a minute. But I took these back and I just wanted to plug them in in stereo and I've been doing, you know, listening impressions on all of these with and without the subwoofer, uh, all on stereo setting, no special EQ or anything like that. Just straight, you know, Odyssey off, all that stuff. So I wanted to get an impression of just how the speakers did by themselves, not in a surround setting, just two channel. I'm not a huge two-channel fan. I like my listening in surround, but I did this because I want to get it all done in the same day, uh, same listening time frame, and be able to get a good impression from one speaker to the next. So I did that. And so when I plug these in, a couple of things I noticed right away, there's no five-way binding post on the bows. Um, even on the, the Prime Sats, they have uh, Prime Satellites from SVS, they have uh, five-way binding posts on the back. So they're, they're you know, they're high grade. Uh, the Bose just has those little clippy things. You push the button, stick the wire in. And uh, I will say I was able to use the banana plugs on those. Uh, it worked, but it was just, it was a little wonky, a little hooky. Uh, but anyway, so I plugged them in and I started listening and I wish I could say I could do better than this, but I only got through three songs. It was really that substantial. Uh, it was an amazing difference going from a speaker that's $328 a pair and just going to a speaker that's a hundred or I'm sorry, $270 a pair, the prime satellites. Okay. The difference in sound quality is amazing. Uh, I was shocked. <laughs> I don't remember them being that drastic. I don't remember them being that bad, but they were. And I, you know, again, I don't like doing these videos. If you have a set of these, if you have a set of Bose 301s and you hate me for making this review, I'm sorry. I didn't make the speakers and I fell in the same trap you did. I bought them myself and I'm irritated by it. All the speakers in this room, except for the Bose are borrowed. They're lent by SVS, a uh, friend lent me these uh, Paradigm Towers, you know what I mean? So I don't have an emotional attachment to these. Uh, I do have an emotional attachment to these because I bought them. I, I spent my own money on them and I'm frustrated about it because it was, you know, I, you expect the name to be like, oh, it's going to be great. And, you know, I moved on and moved on and moved on because I wasn't happy with them. So that's the situation I was faced with. Um, you know, I, again, I don't like doing negative videos, but people have asked me about this and I, I felt I should give an honest review. I'm not trying to beat up on them. I'm not trying to be unfair to them. I tried to do a very, very fair test. And I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding when I said the difference was astounding. Uh, and so anyway, uh, you know, what were some of the issues I had with it? Well, the clarity was just, I won't say absent, but it was really not good. Um, and you know, will, will those Bose 301s do better on bass than, than the prime sats? Maybe, probably, you know, the Bose has a bigger speaker, but the clarity with which it does it uh, won't be good. And 
whether you're running a, a, a prime sat a, a bose 301 or, or or a giant tower you want to be running a subwoofer anyway so it kind of makes it not a huge point um, i was not willing to run a test on the 301s because i'm afraid of popping them <laughs> i don't want to run through that test i'm i don't know i'm they're my mom's speakers i don't want to hurt them uh, so anyway i i'm i'm really not thrilled with the 301s uh, you know, and, and frankly, if I'm being honest, when I plugged them in and I started listening to, to familiar music, I laughed really hard. I, because out of, out of shock, I was just surprised. I mean, you always hear people, you know, knocking bows and stuff like this. And when you do it side by side, you get it. And I encourage anyone, if you have any doubts about, you know, the integrity of, of what I'm saying here, do it yourself. Go get a set of, of, of better speakers. You know, like I said, the Prime Sats, th those are 134 bucks a piece, okay? You don't like them, you can send them back. The SVS is really good about that, but you can try it yourself and compare and tell me, am I lying or am I being straight with you? Because it's the difference is outstanding to me. Um, and, you know, I, and I'll go into one thing I did, you know, when I took these over, uh, to my mom's and and she has uh, two of these over at her place right now and I plugged them in and she was watching the news I think <laughs> okay and I plugged them in and immediately she's like wow that's a huge difference I said yeah and she's not super into this stuff you know what I mean it's not her thing she's she doesn't have you know it's, it's she's not nearly as tuned into this stuff as I am but she noticed it right away and so when I called her uh, a couple days later, see how she's doing. And I asked her about how the speakers were doing. And she's like, wow, these, these do sound a lot better. I'm like, yeah, I can't believe it. And she said, yeah, those, those, you know, the bows are kind of skanky. <laughs> and I, you know, I just had to tell you that because that was, it was hilarious coming from my mother, uh, who I, doesn't usually talk that way. So it was, it was kind of funny. It was a funny experience. But uh, again, I, I apologize. Uh, to people that might be offended by this or feel like I'm picking on bows or, you know, targeting them or anything. I just want to give an honest review because I had some, some viewers ask me to do a, a, you know, a real comparison and a real review of them. And I wish I could say, yeah, they do great. You know, oh, they're pretty good for the money. You know, I wish I could say something redeeming about them. But this is one of those cases where the name brand is worth more than the speaker itself and that's the kind of thing that upsets me that's the kind of thing that you know bothers me and so i just want to do this this review and i'm trying to be as fair as i can about it uh, but again i encourage anyone to to do the same challenge uh listen to them side by side and and see if you agree with me uh i, I was really taken aback and you know with with all the good speakers i've been listening to you know, since I've been starting this, since I started this channel and stuff like that, going back to those was, was somewhat torturous. It was bad. And what made me decide to finally do this was I had gone out with some friends to a pool hall and they had a bunch of Bose 301s around the room. Uh, they had four of them and I thought, oh, it must just be the bad acoustics. And after plugging them in, no, it wasn't the acoustics. It was, it was the speakers. So, um, Again, sorry about this, guys. If, if you're if you're a 301 owner or you're a 301 fan, I I wish I had better news for you. I wish I could tell you they're awesome or they do great, but uh, they just don't. And, and if I had to if I had to go based on the value of these speakers at being 134 dollars, what I would expect to pay for something like that, uh, what I expect to pay for the sound quality you're getting out of the 301s, I mean, I call them a 50 dollar speaker, you know. Or if I had to go the other way and say, okay, this is the benchmark for a $300 speaker, how much should this speaker be? I would say the Prime Sat should be priced at about 500 bucks based on the performance. You know, it sounded that much better. So, uh, you know, again, uh, not my favorite video to make, but I, I felt I should be honest with you guys, tell you what I think. Uh, and, you know, at least you know, at least you know what you've got or know what you're dealing with. So. Uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I expect to get some some negative comments. That's all right. Uh, you know, 
this isn't my style of video to make. I, I prefer to talk about stuff that really rocks, uh, but, but there it is. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I apologize for any hurt feelings and uh, please subscribe.